What's up guys? Welcome to another video. Today I wanna to talk about the software I'm using for my streams. It should be a pretty short video because for me the answer is pretty simple and that is Streamlabs OBS. Now let me go over why I chose Streamlabs OBS over running just regular OBS and give you a second option that you can pick from that's also relatively easy to use if for some reason you're just not happy with Streamlabs. So I chose Streamlabs because it is essentially an all-in-one solution. You download the one program and it has everything you need to just get started. You can download free layouts, you can set up your alert customize the way your stream looks where your webcam goes just like in OBS and it has a built-in chat so you don't really need your web Chrome browser open the entire time because we all know how much resources Chrome takes up and especially if you don't have a beefy PC or if the game you're playing tends to suffer from some memory issues this could be a valuable way to save some system resources and it's just nice to have everything kind of in one screen that you can look at rather than breaking out different screens and different windows it's just a lot neater and and makes more sense to me anyways. So having everything condensed into one platform means it's so much easier to access everything you need from setting up your webcam to positioning your layouts to creating all of your alerts. Everything is done on the platform within the app or on the website, up to you, whatever you want. And there's very minimal loading, uploading, customizing from different places and bring that stuff in. I mean, if you want to do that, it is more than capable of doing that as well. It's essentially just OBS, a lot simpler, especially for beginners. I don't think it's a good idea to waste hours, days, or even weeks designing your overall layout when, let's be honest, you have like zero viewers right now. So, so with the Streamlabs, go in there, get started, within like an hour or so for a pretty simple setup everything that you need is already there on the platform so for anyone who's starting to stream i highly recommend checking out streamlabs most of the useful stuff is free they have a premium stuff where you can use to build your website and all that stuff but i think that's gonna be down the road down the road now there is another option besides streamlabs called stream elements but i have never used it before so i don't exactly know how easy it is but from what i've seen stream elements seems to be kind of in the middle ground between streamlabs and the regular OBS. And in my brief view of it, UI is similar to OBS. So if you eventually want to jump over to just regular OBS and customize everything, Stream Elements might be a good place for you to start. It also has a lot of other things just like Streamlab for easy layouts, for customization, creating alerts importing alerts into the OBS platform is very easy. The only difference that I've noticed is that for Streamlabs, everything's already built in. And for Stream Elements, it's easy to create, but you still kind of have to install or import everything onto the OBS program. Now, whatever you choose, both of these platforms are gonna be great. Both offers you a way to receive donations that's connected to your PayPal or bank account. And both try their best to help minimize any type of chargebacks that you guys have. I hear that Stream Elements chargeback system is a little bit better because they have your, their own kind of back-end finance system or some i don't know how it works but that's what i hear so for beginning streamers if you want to use streamlabs great if you want to use stream elements i think that's also a great alternate solution the reason that i went with streamlabs because when i first started stream elements didn't really have all of their platform and stuff solved and i'm just kind of used to streamlabs so if it's working for me and i'm not having any problems with it why fix something if it ain't broke am i right now i gotta mention that streamlabs does have one thing that's kind of a hassle and that is if you want to have some type of chat bot you're gonna have to download a separate program and you kind of have to run that second program alongside the streamlabs main program which i guess takes away from having an all-in-one platform but that's just the way they designed it when they first came out with streamlabs obs they did not have the chatbot function there's something that was added on later on so i'm assuming that they had some complication in the back end of uh, full integration now this is something that is eliminated on stream elements so if having this crazy amount of chat function is something you really desire from the get-go then i think stream elements would be the way for you to go if you're more like me where you mainly focus on engaging with chat yourself then from a starting standpoint, I think Streamlabs is a little bit easier to get started. You can always migrate. Now do let me know in the comments below if you are curious about Stream Elements or if you chose Stream Elements over Streamlabs. Let me know why. Maybe sometime in the future, I'll do a little switch for a couple weeks and check out Stream Elements and see how great it actually is or not great. Well, I guess we'll find out. Aside from that, you don't really need anything else. Some people want to put a Nightbot on through their chat. I mean, both programs kind of have their default chatbot and chat filtering built in without even having the whole chat program on Streamlabs and all that. And you're probably gonna have maybe five viewers 
for like the first couple of months and those five viewers are probably not gonna be spamming your chat with profanity and you know inappropriate stuff so I think for a beginner we don't really need a lot of crazy gadgets within our stream to make things more complicated so just find the one that you think is the easiest for you to understand and use and look at some of the basic functions between the two I highly recommend Streamlabs because I feel like it is just gonna be the fastest way for you to get started and when it comes down to it that's the most important thing you just got to get started whatever can get you started the quickest should be the solution you go to all right guys with that thank you for watching this quick video i hope you guys do let me know which solution you guys choose and whether or not you feel like i should check out stream elements and maybe i can make a video with an actual better comparison between the two and which one i finally choose at the end i don't know we'll see let me know in the comments don't forget to click Bing, you know, subscribe bell, you know, you know what to do. See you guys later. Have a great week.